Welcome back. Now, here's a feel-good story for you on this beautiful Monday morning. Third-year drama student Miselo Angamlana was suspended for five weeks from her classes at Avda in Cape Town because she could not afford to pay her fees. She was raised by her father, Vincent, who was only able to pay for her first two years of studies. Miselo's friend, Lundu, discovered crowdfunding platform Back a Buddy. And, well, the short story is Miselo managed to crowdfund her way back to obtaining her degree. The total outstanding amount of 45,000 rand was paid in full. And uh, she joins us now from our Seapoint Studios in Cape Town. And together with her is uh, Catherine Deploy, who is the Chief Operating Officer at Beggar Party. Uh, a very good morning to you, to you ladies. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> now, I'm going to start with you, uh, Miselo. Talk to us about the roller coaster of crowdfunding yourself back to varsity. Um, well, I would say that um, it was a difficult like experience because um, my family was everyone like everyone was just stressed and I just, I wanted to give up and everything, but I had good friends Jane and Luntu who were like Missy, no, we got you, so let's do this. I I wanted to give up like I didn't know like it would be possible even, but I got I managed to get back at school. Yeah, it's so good to hear, to hear that. How long did it take for the donors to raise the money that was needed? Um, about five weeks. Okay. So basically I missed out on a full third term. Mm. All right. Now, Catherine, talk to us about the Back a Body initiative. How did this come about? Well, Back a Buddy is a, is a crowdfunding platform. So essentially that is the concept of um, creating a profile on our Back a Buddy website and encouraging donors to contribute small amounts of money towards a, an amazing cause such as Missy's cause. So donors set up, donors come to our platform to contribute towards causes that are amazing and we have individuals setting up causes and profiles on our website to raise funds for causes and things that they really feel passionate about. So basically this crowdfunding website is simply to donate for a cause where, with no expectations of, uh, of money, so, say for instance. So this is a charity initiative, isn't it? Well, Back a Buddy ourselves, we are a registered non-profit organization, but we have individuals raising uh, funds for causes that range from uh, medical needs, students raising funds for, for their outstanding fees, we have non-profit organizations raising funds, so we have a wide array of different needs that people raise funds for on our website, but what Back a Buddy has done is that oftentimes we manage the funds that are raised, so that of course creates a, a sense of, of peace in the mind of the donor that the funds will actually go to the intended cause. So for example in Massey's case um, you know we'd raise the outstanding funds needed and then pay the funds directly to the institution so the donors can be assured that the money will be used for its intended purpose. Ms. Elba, now that you back on your feet again what are your hopes and aspirations? Um, basically to give back, of course, to black communities because it's really not, it's really not easy out there. And um, I know a few students also experiencing the same situation as I am. And my friends, Luntu and Jane, we also want to push, like, go into this, like, push more um, and find other, like, be able to help out other students too because it's really not a nice um, situation to be in. And any advice for people who will find yourselves in the situation that you're in? Well, the advice I'd give is that um, when you're in like when you're in situations like this, it, it does, sometimes does not make sense like to you. But when you look back and connect the dots, it will all make sense if you don't give up. Just just go out there and go for what you want. Of course, if you want it. Get it, go get it. The, oh, the, the world owes yes. you nothing. <laughs> now, Catherine, yes, Catherine how can people promote their cause on the website and what are the terms and conditions thereof? 
Well, essentially, anybody who's wanting to raise funds for a cause that they feel passionate about, they can contact us at Backer Buddy, pop us an email at info at backerbuddy.co.za, or just visit the website and create a profile. And once you've created your profile and you don't know how to market it or how to get the word out there, um, as I mentioned, just give us a ring or pop us an email and we will assist you in writing the content in a way that appeals to the donor market and explaining to you how exactly to tap your networks and how to get your campaign out there into the broader South African community. And how likely are you going to get another success story uh, like Misela's story for instance? How likely? Well, with crowdfunding, it, it's, quite a, it's quite a difficult thing. It's definitely not easy money. You don't just set up a campaign and, and your campaign is automatically successful. Often what makes the campaign stand out in terms of their ability to succeed or not is if they have a champion. And by having a champion, I mean Lunter. In, for example, in Massey's case, Lunta and Jane, the friends, they stood up for her. They created the campaign, and instead of Massey coming and saying, you know, this is me, um, and I need money, and please help me, her friends came forward, and they stood up for her, and they vetted her. They basically said to other people, we know that she's great, and they marketed her campaign to their particular networks. So often crowdfunding is successful when you have other people who also believe in you that have the capabilities and the networks to market your campaign for you. So it's very important to, um, to chat to your friends and family and to get people to help you to market that page and who believe in you and um, spread the page and get your donations in. Now, Catherine, I'm going through your website as we speak, and uh, it's quite inspirational to see uh, that people have embraced this initiative. For instance, I see that the Smile Foundation, for example, has received crowdfunding of 1.2 million rand. Uh, so it is quite inspirational to see that people are actually uh, getting into the bandwagon of crowdfunding. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful to see and we're seeing youngsters, we're seeing children coming to the fore, partaking in all kinds of events. We have a young girl by the name of Abriella who's 10 years old and she's swimming to Robben Island. We have all kinds of individuals who are taking part in events and pledging their events to raising funds for a good cause. Um, so yes, the concept of crowdfunding is still relatively new in South Africa, but certainly something that's growing and something that really speaks to the principle of of who we are as Africans and South Africans is getting the community to come together and make small contributions towards a big cause. Miselwa, now that you are sorted, surely you'll be going out there and uh, raise awareness about this particular website and helping people uh, to, be, to be assisted by others. Yes. <laughs> of course, yes. I'll be out there. Like, like, I, like I mentioned earlier that um, we... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more than willing to help out other people too, like by putting them onto the website too, like and so that they can raise funds too for their fees. And like for instance, the friends that I mentioned that I they're also going through similar situations as I am, and like I'm more than willing to help them out on that. All right, Misselo and Catherine, great chatting to you, ladies, this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Yes. Many thanks Thank to you. Catherine Deploy, who is the Chief Operating Officer at uh, Beck Kabadi, and uh, Miss Elon Gamlana talking to us about how, the crowd, uh, how she crowdfunded herself back to Varsity. All right, then.